All right, everyone. So hopefully you tuned into my last week uh, blog post uh, talking about discussion boards and how you know SharePoint's all about engaging teams and lifecycle management and locating and building relationships with colleagues and organizational information. Uh, as I mentioned, one of the valuable tools for engaging teams is the Discussion Board app in 2013. Uh, discussion boards were available in earlier versions of SharePoint and continue to be one of the most robust and useful tools for facilitating team collaboration. So today in the video blog, I wanted to show you how to create a discussion board, uh, walk through some of the features, and then finally show you uh, how awesome it is to connect discussion boards down to, uh, down to Outlook. So we'll just start out here in this uh, demo site that I have. And just like creating any app, you'll go to your site settings and add an app. And I'll just search for the discussion app. So we'll add the discussion board, just call it Team Discussions. Pretty straightforward, nothing fancy to creating it. And then when you're taken in, you'll notice it's just a specially formatted list and it comes with a couple of views to get you started. So I'll just go ahead and create a new discussion and we'll uh, call this um, favorite SharePoint features and we'll just ask the team, hey everyone, what is the best uh, SharePoint feature feature for facilitating team collaboration and getting everyone engaged engaged all right and if it's a question uh, you can click the question checkbox basically that's going to allow you to do some filtering later um, filter between just questions or non questions I'll just call this one uh, I'll just say this is not a question so now we've got a, uh, a discussion in our discussion board so anyone on our team uh, could come along and click on this discussion and from here they can simply add a reply and I could say I love all the features of course and save that reply and just as I continue to refresh my screen I'll see all the con contributions of everyone on my team now as uh, the creator of this discussion I could also come in and mark a specific response or a reply as a best reply and you'll notice now when anyone comes into this discussion that reply is listed at the top of the best replies so we could go back to the team discussions uh, and let's say this time I create one that's uh, that's really a question uh, creating a new discussion board can someone tell me how to create a new discussion board what are the steps and you could actually tell them to come watch this video blog if you wanted to in the reply so this time I'll make this one a question so the reason we mark it a question is because <clears throat> one of the many views is to be able to go in and see answered questions and unanswered questions so if I filter on unanswered questions I'll see that that one specific question uh, I can also see answered questions so if I go ahead and go into this creating a new discussion board and someone comes along and answers it I can say see Tom's video blog from January 2015 he shows how to create discussion boards and then you could put a link here to uh, mastersharepoint.com and it'll allow you to embed that link now you could also come along and then mark this as a best reply Okay, that tells SharePoint that this question has been answered. So now if you went back to the discussion board, you can filter on unanswered questions, and there are none now, where you could see the answered questions. Someone could also come along and view recent discussions that have posted. Uh, you can view your discussions by using the My Discussion filter. And you can also see featured discussions. So basically what featured discussions are is we can come along and pick one of the discussions here and mark it as a featured discussion. And that allows that discussion to bubble up to the top when you click on featured discussions. So some really cool tools. And because this is a list, you can add your own metadata. 
you can add your own, you know, uh, life cycle management tools and properties using um, using columns. So there's a management view here, which basically shows you this is actually a list, and you can see some of the metadata here behind it. Now, a couple of other things you can do: you can set alerts on these discussions as well. So if I switch back to, oh, it did mention moderation. This is basically the ability to mark something as featured or unfeatured. So if you notice this one is currently featured, you can mark it unfeatured or mark it featured. It just changes the metadata uh, on the list. So we'll switch back into subject view. Um, and I just wanted to point out that for specific conversations, you can also create an alert. And this basically sets up um, and opens the alert management screen so that you can then come in and set up to receive email alerts on this discussion. Okay. Now, my other favorite feature of discussion boards, as well as any list in SharePoint, is the ability to connect it to Outlook. Now, once it's connected to Outlook, of course, you don't need, uh, you don't need to have SharePoint open, but you can go in Outlook now and participate in these discussions. They're listed just below your inbox. So you can participate in these discussions directly in Outlook. So I see both discussions. I can expand them and see all of the replies. I can pick a discussion and on the toolbar post a reply. So my other favorite feature is connecting to Outlook. And then when I post the reply, it's a two-way sync back to SharePoint. So that's another pretty awesome and useful tool. And just to prove that it is a two-way sync, you come back in SharePoint, click on favorite, the uh, favorite SharePoint feature discussion, you'll see that, that that reply from Outlook is listed there. So you see that discussion boards are you know, really, really useful. It's something that you would place immediately on the homepage of your site to facilitate engagement with your teams. All right.